Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about how to use the Python code or Python transformations in Power BI. As you know that both Python and Power BI both are powerful tools and each tool is having their own advantage. Let's say Python is having the more competition power and it can easily slice the data, dice the data and apply the many logics easily. And Power BI is having the, you know, visual uh, capabilities where you can present your uh, data in beautiful visual format, right? So now without further any delay, so let's get into details how we can use it. So during my video, I'm going to take one sample use case. Using that sample use case, we're going to pull the data from the multidimensional cube uh, using the Python code and build the small graph uh, in Python itself using the matplotlib and then use the same Python code, I mean embedded the same Python code in Power BI and design the same graph that we used built in the matplotlib, right? Okay, so now let me bring into the my Visual Studio. So this is the Visual Studio. Uh, I mean, uh, basically, I use the Visual Studio to write the Python code. Uh, just quick view about this Visual Studio. So here you can right side, you can see list of the libraries that are already mapped into my project. And then I put it uh, name like practice in Python. And then here we can write our Python script. OK, so here we write the Python code and then we can see that uh, execution in the bottom. Right, quick summary about this uh, code. Okay, so here I'm importing the libraries which I required for my, you know, uh, uh, I mean, to bring the data and to display the data. And then also I'm connecting to my uh, server, the server details database, and what is the username and password. And here I'm using the PyODBC to connect to the SQL server. And then I'm using the multidimensional cube through the linked server. That's what you see here the linked server and then here is the MDX query uh, but I'm using it simply it's a simple query just I'm fetching the reseller sales amount uh, month wise and then product categories information from my AdventureWorks database after that I'm just bringing the data to you know pandas data frame and then doing some cleanup uh, like uh, renaming the columns and then finally I've converted uh, column data types and then just aggregated the data uh, rsm is nothing but reseller sales amount uh, aggregated the data at category level then i'm displaying the uh, matplot uh, or the graph in matplotlib okay so now let's execute this query uh, so i'm executing the compiling and executing the query right and uh, yeah there you go so the graph is displayed using the matplotlib but here you can see here this graph is like a very hard right it's a, there is no you know um, uh, customized or beautification or anything i mean all those things are missing right so as a developer as a business analyst we are okay to, to see these numbers but if you want to customize definitely you need to have a proper visualization tool so now what we do we're going to take this code uh, to the power bi and um, display the same graph okay so now let me open the power bi Here is my Power BI report opened. Okay, now I'm going to create a new Power BI report here. Um, so before we do that, there are some settings we need to enable in the Power BI to use the Python code. Okay, so to enable those settings, you need to go to the file and then options, and then under the options, you can click on it. Then it will open the options window. Within that op options window, go to the Python scripting and here you need to set your python home directory where is that python home directory uh, to check this home directory what you can do so you can go to visual studio here right and then go to the properties properties here sorry not here but yeah here properties and then you can copy this particular full path this is the where your python library is everything uh, is hosted you can copy this into uh, Power BI directly and then once you copied it just click OK that's it so that means whenever the Power BI start running it it will go to the uh, your Python library and start executing the script now next step is we're going to click on get data under that click on more here type Python so that you will get Python script Python script as a source okay click connect when you do that so there is a script window will open now i'm going to 
here I'll copy my data from here to here I'm not displaying any graph right in uh, Power BI I mean using the matplotlib so I leave these two lines and then without the two lines rest I'll copy it and go back to the Power BI desktop and paste it that's it once I'm done click OK so now the data is transferring from my multi-dimensional cube to Power BI by applying all my logics or transformations now here it's getting loaded the data I mean uh, the data sets will be displayed here right okay still it's loading here are the two data sets that are available in my Python code so the first data set is raw data set that we downloaded from cube right uh, where you have a lot of attributes right but uh, the DFT2 is actually our cleaned one so where we aggregated the data at category level so now I selected the list of uh, data frames that I want then click load right so it's got loaded okay still it's loading okay While it's loading just want to add it here this is the I mean simple code that I used it but in your scenario you can write many number of logics based on your business uh, requirement and finally you can arrive to the one clean data frame okay using that data frame you can build your wonderful power bi reports okay right. so it's completed the reading the data to the power bi so now the data frame is ready on the right side <coughs> So now our goal is to create the same graph in the Power BI. Okay. So now let me minimize this and I go to drag here and I select RSM category and then select the line chart from my Power BI and then I'll drag it here. What I can do here, so let me drag the RSM to Y axis and the category to X axis and then change RSM to sum instead of count so you can see here the graph is already started hmm. but the graph is uh, sorting on its own way instead of uh, category sorting it's sorting from largest to smallest rsm value now i'm going to change the sorting so i want to sort it at a category level and then also i want to sort it ascending to descending so by it will uh, be sorted alphabetical order right accessories bikes and clothing and then components now you can see here the same graph that we created in the power bi so now here i can simply extend my power bi with additional features and options like uh, data labels if i want to display the data labels then i can select this data labels option you can see on the top the data labels are displayed and if i want to rename this uh, column name right you know so i can rename this easily rename from the visuals okay Resellers, sales, I want, right? I can do whatever the beautification I want in this graph, right? So this is how you can use the Python code to transfer the data from um, anywhere to your Power BI. Okay. So as you know that, right? I need to tell you about what is the benefits of the Python. So um, for uh, data massage or data wrangling will use the python and for visualization will use the power bi so combination of these two it will make your uh, solve the business use cases very useful okay right so it's like uh, 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 you're mixing the right combination to your whiskey before you drink right same way uh, python is one of the best uh, tool to wrangle your data and then display in the power bi so that's all about this video I'll see you in the next video with a different...